Hello everybody, back here for another a quick little update on the Idiot's Guide to Woodworking. And what I have here is a picture frame I started building here quite a while back. I have some really old um, barn boards, technically not barn boards, it came out of a little shed that was on my property that I tore down and saved the boards. You can see this edge over here is a clean edge where I'd been cut off. This edge on here is a rough edge and then again rough edge and the far side over here is also a clean edge so definitely um, depending on how it gets hung it's going to make a difference i'm going to want this side and the top to be if it's going to be hung low i want it to be the parts going to be seen if it's going to be hung high i want this to be the bottom and this to be the side so that way you walk in the room you'll see the older wood uh, i'll probably try and mix up like some gray um, watered down paint maybe and paint along those edges to kind of make it look not quite so obvious. I built the original frame and I just, the boards were way too wide. I did not like the look of it at all. So I decided to, um, luckily had not assembled it completely yet. I decided to take it apart and cut out this inside section here. You notice there's a nice big knot, it clearly fits. What I ended up with is two picture frames. So with that process, it worked out pretty well for me because I ended up with the, um, two out of the one. Unfortunately, by doing that, all my inside edges here are gonna be new cut wood, where over here, those two are new, but these two are the old ones. So I really just, it was total fluke that it actually fit back together and that knot really basically ties it together. And part of me likes the idea of having the two frames in one. I even thought about trying to do like a dual picture setup so I get mounted like maybe mount this like a 3D box out here, tie it together somehow so you can kind of like a shadow box with it. But I decided to heck with them. I was gonna make picture frames out of it. I already have a picture lined up for this inside little one and I just gotta do the big one. I had already cut the inside rabbit for this picture when this was one big frame. Then I had to come back in and cut the rabbit for this other one. So this one here, I ended up cutting a shallower rabbit than I had before over here. I thought this one was probably a little bit deeper than it really needed to be. I don't know, maybe I'll wish I cut this thicker when I go to cut my glass because this one is actually a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be. So we'll see what I come up with. Um, getting ready to head out right now. Actually, the reason I'm discussing these, getting ready to head out to my local lumber yard. They cut glass in that. So I'm going to go have a couple pieces of glass cut. I'm going to actually take the frames with me because that way they can we can cut it real quick, test it, make sure it's gonna fit. And I've got plenty of gap here. If you notice the thickness from the outside edge in, I want the glass to be loose. I don't want it super tight in case my wood shrinks or expands. I don't want the glass breaking. So I'm gonna tell them to you know, cut it down a 16th of an inch, both directions, you know, thinner. They'll give me a 60 or 30 second on all four edges. That'll give me plenty of room for a gap and expansion and all that good stuff, so. Other than that, um, that's pretty much all I got right now. I'll update you when I figure out what the price is going to be for um, the glass. So have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching.